Joy Hill here from Create Up. Right now, I'm at Market Street Production, thanks to Chris. And today, we are gonna do a test that everybody been asking on Create Up YouTube channel. It's the comparison between the Insta360 Titan and the Zcam V1 Pro, which is filming me right now at the studio environment. So let me just briefly tell you where to look at. Again, first look at me. Uh, we have a direct sunlight from that only light source right here, the window. So, uh, one thing about this camera so different from the Insta360 Titan is the V1 Pro have a top camera. See, I put my hand right here. You can see a top camera right here from the top lens. So, let me step back and I will pay attention to on your left. If you turn around on your left, you see, actually if you look down, you see the measuring tape on the ground. It's exactly four feet. We put a focal chart right here. And we'll go over right here so you can see the focal chart right here to see how sharp is the V1 Pro and also for stereoscopic quality. Uh, again, uh, on, on this side, uh, we have the camera, 2D camera filming me, and we also have this amazing model right here. And you check it out, she is probably like, uh, I would say, six feet away from the camera. So that is pretty far away from the camera, from the action. So if I walk over here, so why not? I'm really close to the camera while I'm one feet away from the camera. I have some stereo disparity. So hopefully uh, we will see the comparison between this camera and that camera. So again, why not the setting of this camera is ISO 101 over 60 shutter speed, shot in sRGB. We will shot at log as well to compare the log on this camera. So now let me switch to the Insta360 Titan. So we are back. As you see next to me is the Zcam V1 Pro. So filming me right now is the Insta360 Titan. Again, exact same setting in 8K, 3D, stereoscopic. Uh, one thing about the Titan is it can shot 10-bit. So we are going to shoot with 10-bit of this camera. Again, pay attention on the charge over here is exactly four feet away from the camera. How sharp is that compared to the Even Pro? And if you look at this way, here we have our beautiful actress right here underneath the sun line and you can see her face. How good is that? And that is around six feet away from the camera. Again, you can also look at the Z cam right here and myself, uh, we just go around a circle. So you see what is the stitching compared to the Z cam right here. And there you go. So hopefully you can see the comparison. Now we will cut to a restaurant scene with these two camera and see how is that in a complicated lighting scenario. Now we are on set on a pretty complicated shooting scenario. As you see me and my director Chris discussing how we are going to shoot exposure place to recover the blown out windows outside. The first one we have is the Zcam V1 Pro shooting at ISO 200, shutter speed 1 over 60 in sRGB. Feel free to look around, pay attention to all the details, stereo quality, and stitching artifacts. As everything is way too close, Wonder Stitch is having a tough time to stitching everything perfectly. So to be fair, we are not using Mystica VR here. Only the native software comes free with the camera. For V1 Pro, it's the Zcam Wonder Stitch. V1 Pro in general has more comfortable stereoscopic 3D disparity, but you see visible stitching artifacts that cause 3D problems in some area around stitch line. Also, look out of the windows and try to see the blown out details outside. Later, you can compare it to the Insta360 Titan 10 bit to check the dynamic range differences. If you are ready, let's switch to Insta360 Titan 10 bit. Here is the Insta360 Titan in the exact same spot, shooting at ISO 200, shutter speed 1 over 60 in 8K stereoscopic 3D. So this video is in 8K by 8K stereoscopic. If you have a low internet bandwidth, I would recommend downloading the original source in ProRes 422 and render out 8K or 4K depending on what VR headset you have and examine that with siloing the video and you will realize how beautiful these cameras can capture compared to your consumer camera like the GoPro Fusion or Insta360 ONE X. So again, look around the Titan footage, look up and down, 
fine distortion and stereo disparity issues. I will challenge you to comment below and tell me what you think of these cameras, what problems you spot and which camera you like better in terms of image quality or stereo quality. If you are ready, we are moving on to the low light test and digital noise comparison. Okay, so why right now we are gonna, if you look up the ceiling, we only leave a really little space to let the sunlight come in. So in the studio right now, it's very, very dark. It's the only light source right here. So the Zcam V1 Pro at ISO 800s and shutter speed 1 over 60. I usually would not feel more than 800 ISO on any of this camera because we get really noisy, the footage is unusable. So the good test is around ISO 800. So we'll compare the Z cam with the Titan you see in ISO 800, which one is better. So for fun, why not the Z cam V1 Pro is in 1600s ISO, that is very high. I usually will try not to shoot in that scenario but sometimes you're in concert you're in out, outside and the sun went down go down uh, you actually need to shot as ISO 1600 so you will see actually how noisy is the V1 Pro compared to the Titan so now for even more fun uh, we're gonna go to 3200 ISO on the Z cam V1 Pro uh, it's hopefully you can still use the footage and the noise is still controllable but we'll take a look and because both camera can do 3200s so we'll see so here is the low light test of the in-stock. You see Titan, again, the Z Cam V1 Pro right here. Why now? Look at the ceiling again. It just opened a little bit. Let some light in, sunlight in. And we are up to ISO 800s. So that usually the max ISO I would go. Again, look at the charge. The chart over here and our actress over there. And you see how bearable is the noise compared to the Z Cam V1 Pro. So now the install with the Titan is in 1600 ISO, pretty high ISO, probably get very noisy. Again, look at the chart over here and go ahead and look at our actions over there to see how bearable is the noise. Let's see, compared to the Z Cam V1 Pro right here. Now we're going a little bit crazy. Again, it's 3200 ISO, super high ISO. Let's see if this footage is still usable. Again, look around, char, char right there, our actress over there, and a light source on top. So hopefully now you can see the differences between these two professional class cameras. I would not suggest buying any VR camera, just rent them based on this test. But if you really wanna buy them, it will be really appreciated if you can buy from my link below. The next video will be in 2D where I will explain everything based on this VR 2CC video the strength and weaknesses for both of these cameras, workflow differences, and practical knowledge on set and in post-production. I put in lots of effort into this professional camera review series to help you choose the right camera and operate them successfully on set and in post-production. Even if you are just consumer 360 camera users, knowing what can be done professionally will help you launch your creative passion. At the end, there are just tools to help you to tell your story. Knowledge is more important than the actual camera you end up using. Support me by subscribing this channel and like and share this video. Together, we push the VR creative boundary forward. See you next time.